hello 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 welcome back to my channel welcome to if you this is your first time watching one of my videos um thank you for joining me on my journey as i've been um journaling um video journaling my zep bound journey i am currently taking terzepatide which is a gop1 medication for weight loss the brand name of that um medication is that bound as i just mentioned i've been taking this medication for a few months now um a little over four months um i started in april it's now august of this year um i'm currently on the five milligram dose i am on my third box of the five milligram dose um as of right now i did two months of the 2.5 milligrams and then i moved to the um five milligrams on my third month on this journey i did start this um journey on a compound and i talked about and talked about that in one of my previous videos so if you haven't gone back to watch some of those videos feel free to go back and watch those videos to kind of catch you up on what i've shared regarding my glp1 journey um, so today I wanted to come on here and talk about some of the things I stopped doing since taking this medication. There are some things that um, since taking this medication, I just cannot tolerate anymore. And I guess that is the goal of the medication is to, um, you know, kind of get rid of that stuff that is probably not necessarily good for us and to maintain um, our, our appetites to be a little smaller and not as much um, high sugars and things like that so um yeah so that's what this video is about today so i guess we'll go ahead and get started so things i stopped doing while taking this that bound medication um first things first i cut down my snacking um i wasn't a huge snacker i guess i can say but i did kind of crave throughout the day snacks here and there I would go grab, you know, this and that, chips. Maybe I'm not a huge chip eater either, but um, some kind of fruit, something sweet or um, salty, depending on what I was feeling around that time. So snacking is something I, I slowed down and stopped doing. Now, I still do, I have my notes here. Um, I still do um, popcorn here and there, not as much as I used to. Um, I found, and I still do my chocolate almonds. Um, I'm still a fan of my chocolate almonds. So that is still um, on my snack list. Of course, not as much, just here and there. Um, if I'm you know, wanting something a little sweet or chocolatey um, or during certain times, if you know what I mean, um, I will go for my chocolate almonds. I used to get my chocolate almonds from Trader Joe's. They have a pack where it's mixed with dark and milk chocolate. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, I encourage you to go um, get a pack of those if that's your thing. Um, so yeah, so that's um, one thing that I stopped doing while taking this medication is um, snacking a lot. Um, I've cut down on that a lot. Another thing I stopped was the super sweet or sugary fruits. Um, I know, you know, we don't like to look at fruit as having a lot of sugar or sweet, but some of it does. Um, so some of the things I used to eat more often are grapes i would eat grapes dang near every day was my breakfast grapes and cashews and coffee was my breakfast every day i have not had grapes i can't even tell you when i had grapes last it was definitely early in my journey on glp1 it's been several months since i've had grapes and i've purchased it and had it in the fridge and i went went forward or reached forward and it just doesn't happen anymore. I just, I can't eat it. I can't tolerate it. I just, I just can't, can't do it. So that's one thing that I've cut um, out of my diet. So I'm looking at my notes again. Um, so I do still get a craving for some sweets um, as I just, you know, shared with the chocolate almonds. So um, now I've kind of switched to carrots. I find that they kind of satisfy that, that sweet um, craving for me. They're not obviously as sweet as some of the other like sweet things that I used to reach for before, but it still kind of satisfies that that desire that I may feel from here and here, here and there. So carrots is another good alternative that I found that I like to satisfy that sweet craving. Um, another thing is coffee. I still drink coffee and I've shared that in my previous videos as well. I do still drink coffee. Um, I have, I used to drink two cups a day. Uh, I am now down to one cup a day and it has, it has been that way since the beginning. I have not been able to get to two cups um, 
I can barely finish the one cup that I do usually um, drink during the day. So I have my one cup usually in the morning sometime. Um, I haven't put sugar in my coffees for years. I don't even know how many years it's been now, but it's been quite some time since I've been using sugar. I was using like half and halves and then creamer, usually a non-dairy creamer. Um, I learned that I really liked oat milk creamer but I can no longer use that because <laughs> it's too sweet. I tried it a couple weeks ago and I couldn't even finish the cup. I had to pour it out and make me a new cup because I just, I couldn't tolerate it at all. Um, I've been putting protein into my um, coffee and I've shared on my Five Essentials video what protein that I use. I use a liquid protein, it's organic, it's really good. Um, I get the vanilla. So if you're interested, go check that out in that video and I share the, the brand of that protein. So I do use that in my coffee, usually daily. And then I also put a collagen um, into my coffee as well. Protein and collagen are really, really key. Um, items are key factors that is really good while you're on this GLP-1 journey. It's also good for day-to-day um, -day anyway to help supplement some of those nutrients that we don't typically get on a daily basis just with our regular food. So um, protein and then the collagen is what I use in my coffee. And I'm down to one cup a day and I don't even drink a whole cup of that either um, on a daily. Uh, another thing is alcohol. Um, I had taken on a challenge for myself at the beginning of this of this year to challenge myself not to um, drink either hard liquor or like mixed drinks. Um, I've been a wine drinker. I really prefer wine anyway, but you know, when you're out or whatever and hanging out with friends or you have people over my house you know i do mixed drinks and stuff like that so i took a challenge to stay away from those hard liquors um and mixed drinks for one year so i had already decided before i started this glp1 journey that um that's what i was going to do but i have like you know if i've been somewhere and there's something new that i want to try i'll try it and i found that i can't really get it down really i just i just can't do it um even the wine that i was drinking um i'm a rosé wine kind of girl i love rosé most of them um some of them are a little drier than i prefer um some of them i can take dry but some of them are just too dry um and i like mine to be either a little more sweeter or just not as dry so the wine that i was drinking um you know for the most part regularly was um 19 crimes um cali rose with snoop dog on the front um i've tried uh drinking some of that i've had some family members and friends have it and i just can't i can't handle it like i used to i can't even finish it um so that's one thing that i've had to cut out um while taking this medication was my wine um, I have found that, um, some like champagnes I, I can take, I can drink that. But uh, as far as like the wine that I used to drink, I just, I can't finish it. Um, I'll drink a little bit, but I can't do a glass like I used to before. One of the other things that I used to do, um, and I just recently started doing this cause I found that it was hard, um, you know, getting in my water intake. So I started putting in flavor packs in my waters. Um, and I usually would just get like a tea flavor or something like that. I usually wouldn't get anything like too, um, sweet, um, to, to put in there. But, um, since taking my medication on this journey and taking Zetbound, I find that even adding the flavor packs of the teas that I use to put in there, um, I can't, I can't get it down. I can't drink it. It's too sweet and it's too much. Um, and I'm unable to drink it. So I do believe that some of those, um, flavor packs that you put into your water have hidden sugars, even though they don't share that on the packaging. I believe there is some hidden sugars that that's in those ingredients. And that's why I have been unable to finish those when I put them in my water. So yeah, those are the things. That's it. So five things that I, um, have not been able to, uh, eat or drink now that I, since I've been on this journey, um, since taking this medication, as I've shared in previous videos, um, I'm having success on this journey. I'm very happy to be on this journey and I'm very um, excited about the success and continuing on and the progress um, on seeing things um, on this medication. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, 
yeah and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet to my channel join me on this journey if you're on the journey um and you want to share feel free to um share down in the comments let's have a conversation about it um okay guys and i will see you guys next time bye